Matty Jabansky has become the latest celebrity to weigh into the Israel Folau controversy and she's tackling the rugby star head on. The Aussie comedian has teamed up with religious and community leaders to launch a rival campaign but while it's focused on spreading love, Folau's fund to cover his legal battle with Rugby Australia has tipped over two million dollars. We've all seen the now infamous post, Israel Folau warning hell awaits homosexuals and other sinners unless they repent. I believe it is my duty as a Christian to share God's word. It's led to Rugby Australia dumping the star, a legal challenge, and now the ultimate counter campaign. Launched by Magda Zhabansky with an interfaith group of Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, straight, and LGBTQI people, they are joining forces for love. We're just trying to do things a different way. Um, not combative, just trying to find peace and harmony and love. And money. They've already raised over $150,000. 10% will go to um, 2010 to help um, um, LGBTQI youth and 90% will go to the Children's Cancer Foundation. Falau's collection plate via the Australian Christian Lobby is growing. It's now at more than $2 million. Your own fellow campaigner Josh Kirsch joins us now. Good morning to you both. Uh, Magna, Hi. why, why did, you, did you launch this type of campaign in particular? Well, look, I'll tell you where all this came from. Um, Josh and I met, we went um, to Israel and Palestine uh, with a whole group of people like, you know, Christians, Jews, Muslims, atheists, gays, on a bus um, to find out about conflict resolution because most people want to get into a war. They, they, they you know, they love the, the hurly the, the the conflict of it. And we wanted to go to learn from people who, like, there are Israelis and Palestinians who've lost loved ones, and they managed to find a, you know, a way to talk to one another. And so, basically, we don't know exactly what we're doing here, but what we're trying to do is just get out of this toxic kind of discourse around everything and show that there's a different way to be a person of faith, an atheist, whatever. Like, we've got a whole range of people. And, you know... But that's not the only way. This is another way that you can be a person of faith. And, 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 and you know, we, we were aware that, oh, you know, we don't want to be self-serving. So we thought, well, we'll try and have someone else benefit. Magda. Josh, what do you say? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is going to sit here and nod. <laughs> I'll talk to Josh in a minute. But I've spoken to a lot of Christians this week because we've been covering this, obviously. Um, and they say, look, yeah. it is their constitutional right to have freedom of religion. Uh, a lot firmly believe that gay people are sinners and that is all Israel Folau is trying to do. How do you answer that? Well, look, we're, we're not going to get into the stash about that in some regards, but let me say, I'm, I won a Voltaire Award for free speech. I believe in free speech. I think it's really necessary. This is not shutting down what anyone else wants to say. It's also saying there's another view because 60% of uh, Christians voted for same-sex marriage. A lot of Christians don't feel represented by that. A lot of people of faith, you know, I mean, over to you, Josh, as a Jewish person, you know. Well, I think all of our communities um, are looking for a kinder um, and happier way to respond uh, to this kind of thing. If we get, if we get sucked into this um, debate about freedom of speech, we lose sight of the fact that we can do good for other people. Mm. Mm. And, um, and you, can, you can have freedom of speech, but, you know, you know there's, there's a couple of things. There's, there's, you can't have double standards. Um, you know, like all of us have employment contracts and you're bound by those, you know, and, and you've yeah. got to behave yourself. It can be irksome, um, but, you know, you, you, I have, I'm bound by that. So you can't have one rule for someone who, because of their faith, is exempt from that. Every, just about everyone in this country mm. has, has an employment mm. contract. And so we're trying to just actually, let's yeah. take the toxicity okay. out of it. It's not a war, you know. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand what you're doing, and, and I think it's terrific. Whatever you do, you're going to get critics. Some of the critics are saying, well, now you're using sick kids as part of your campaign to reinforce it and saying, well, that's just a bit tacky. What do you say to them? Look, 
we're kind of like, what are we going to do with this money? You know, yeah. and we were we were having a conversation. And to be honest, I'm really tired of just advocating for LGBTQI people. I actually want to help, as we all do. You know, like people in other communities. It's not all about us. And we're like, okay. And this yeah. had to be done in a rush. You know, we didn't have a lot of time to think about it. And we thought, what? Well, who, who's someone who really needs it? Yeah. Um, we know that you know this is reactivated for a lot of LGBTQI people, especially kids. And yeah. we're talking about kids who live in uh, ethnic and religious minorities and frankly we know that some of those kids killed themselves during that survey mm. yeah so this has brought all of that up again yeah. so we've put 10 percent towards a group that supports that and then we wanted to just give it to, you know i don't if we made the wrong decision i don't know but it was done with the best of intentions yeah. wasn't yeah. it and we you know josh was the one that we you you thought this is a great organ you know you well the the thing for us really is that we're not raising money uh, to try to stop anyone from doing anything else. Yeah. We're raising money to provide people with a positive alternative yeah. to division yeah. and, and the best people to be the beneficiaries of that kind of sentiment and that kind of kindness are children with cancer and at-risk LGBTQI youth. Yeah, yeah it well sure there. will be. Absolutely. And the Falau yeah. case goes to the Fair Work Commission on Friday, so it would be good for it to end. Thank you both. We appreciate it. Good luck.